Hey everybody, what's up? It's Neon Dagger. How you doing? Welcome back to iRacing. And today we're taking a look at the Skippies again. We are at Watkins Glen on the uh, cup layout. I almost said road course layout, which the whole thing's a road course dummy. What are you talking about? But this is the, the cup layout. This is the shorter track that the uh, NASCAR Monster Energy Series, I will never stop not liking that name uh cars run on and we had a uh, pretty interesting race very very interesting race this was my second race of the week on the uh layout here at watkins glen just to give you a little bit of background info on this track it's in upstate new york it's one of my favorite tracks um We've run the boot layout before, which is the full circuit. You can see the boot off to the left there. And I did not have the greatest of qualifying speeds. I only qualified 11th in the 17 car field because I, I went off a little bit there in the qualifying run as well. But uh, we had a fairly interesting race. I'm not going to say anything more. I will see you on the grid. All right, so here we are on the grid. I actually remembered this time to leave a little bit of a, uh, a gap space in between the start of the race and when we're actually going. Uh, the Watkins Glen Cup course is 2.43 miles, eight turns. We're gonna be running 17 laps of this. And like I said, we are starting in 11th place. So we've got quite a bit of ground to try and make up here. Yeah, now I am in the, the number one car for the race. You can see I left the audio on as well this time. There's some very interesting audio that happens a little bit later in the race. And we are getting ready to go here. Watch the flag man. He's going to wave green. There we go. And we're off from the 11th place. So I'll talk a little bit about the track as well as we uh, as we race here. Probably won't for the first couple laps. It's a little hectic. So we're going to have a nice little scrum down here into the 90 of the first turn get passed by a guy that's okay better to let him pass me then wreck coming up here into the s's now in 12th place trying to make our way up here very fast section with a, a fast right a fast left and another fast right on to the back straight here and then this this is where the chaos will start to happen coming up here see the bus stop chicane it is a very very fast right left and then left right combination you can see the smoke already people breaking going off all over the place guy in front of me spins i slow down just enough to avoid him get passed on the inside trying to recover so a little bit of a a little bit of a net loss there until i realized two cars spawned instead of one so i did pick up a position going through the outer loop onto the short straight here the short shoot Heading toward the last two corners of the track. So slow guy here. I want to slow down a little bit. And coming on to the last right-hander. Back onto the front straight. Going to be a little, a little slow through here. Another crash. Go around the outside of the corner. That's okay. That's the line anyways through the track. So we've picked up four spots and lost one. So that's a net gain of three spots. We're up to eighth now. That's good. So the first corner here is the 90. I realize I got a guy on the inside, so I give him a little bit of room. Better again to lose the one position. There he is right there. Than to, uh, to cause a wreck. A little bit of a, a duel out in front here. I also realize at this point all the white cars because I forgot my trading paints was turned off. I didn't load it before the race. So there's a couple of white cars here. There's guys with custom paint jobs. Get a nice little run down the back street here, picking up the draft. I realized I'm not going to make the pass going into the bus stop, so I slow down a little bit, give it a little bit of space. And I almost run up on the guy's rear end because he's even slower. There's a guy off to the right. Oh, God, he jumps. I'm going to slow down a little bit, let him make sure that he doesn't uh, slide across the track into my front. But that's all right. Picked up another spot, so we trade one for one here so far. Still back to eighth. Get the guys way out in front now. Pulling out a little bit here. This guy's gonna be slow. I'm gonna slow, make sure I don't hit him. And he's gonna go wide, lose it. 
and I'm going to get a free spot there. So now I'm up to seventh. I've got two guys in front of me that are dueling, which is great. So I should be able to catch them if they keep going side by side like that. I'll pick up the draft, probably going into the S's, which is the fastest part of the track for me. I really pick up a lot of, a lot of ground there. And this time, a little bit better going through the 90 there. Right here, if this was the old racetrack, this is where start finish was. And they had the S's as the first couple turns. And this section, very dangerous back in the old days. Had a couple of drivers that were killed because of crashes in the S's. Pretty gruesome stuff. Uh, like, you know, Armco cutting them in half and things like that. You know, bad stuff. And the bus stop here, now this is also a uh, relatively new addition. Put it in in the late 80s, early 90s due to some very, very serious incidences with speed coming into the, the carousel, the outer loop here. Specifically, a crash involving Jeff Bodine in the Cup Series, the Winston Cup Series back at the time. There was a particularly nasty Trans Am crash with Tommy Kendall where he broke both his legs. And, of course, J.D. McDuffie dying in 91 there. Kind of all necessitated a section that had to be uh, had to be slower than what the, uh, the current conditions on the track were. Uh, just because the cars were going so much faster at the time. That's such a high speed corner. They had to slow the cars down. Let me get a nice little run here on the inside going into the, the first corner of the 90 here. There we go. A little slide, but that's all right. Guy spins out on the outside. So pick up another spot. I'm up to, I think, sixth now. I've got a good run here on this guy in fifth. Got a nice gap here. I want to make sure I don't hit him as I'm accelerating. Here I go to the outside. And that will give me, hopefully, the the better line that I'm used to racing. And I'll just kind of try to outbreak him a little bit. Slow down, and we are through. Nicely done there. As I'm racing, there's another guy that's actually behind me. It's starting to catch me a little bit. It's that same guy with the green rims that we saw before. And I know he's back there. So I am going to let him through because I know he's running faster than me as well at some point. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fairly easy track to race on. Um, I, in fact, I not only... Had, not only had I just raced this in the Skippies, but I also raced this, for those of you that know, uh, Jim's has set up a, a NASCAR Racing 2003 season, kind of fun league, and we had just been at uh, Watkins Glen the weekend before. So it was a very familiar track that's on my mind right now. A little, little slide there, but I will save it so I don't go off, you know, 1x right at the edge of there and you can see a little bit of a little bit of patch there of asphalt on that side i believe that is where there used to be a chicane which they put in to slow people down going through the s's but they later removed it this was unnecessary so again kind of kind of hunting this guy in front of me down trying to get another spot here and i know i'm catching him here in the uh bus stop He's not as fast as I am through there. Slowing down a lot more. He's also drifting a little bit here, and I unfortunately followed him out to the outside, but he's drifting a lot through Carousel. So there's that guy. Yeah, so I messed up there, and I, I left the door wide open to be passed there. And our friend there, number 10, took nice advantage of it. Now he's going to try and contest the guy in front of me, so I'm down a spot to... Sixth place. Doing okay though. And what's really cool about the track in iRacing is if you look up there on the uh, the Nextel Cup banner, which the Sprint Series banner, which is obviously it's now Monster Energy Premier Series, whatever, whatever they want to call it. Uh, if you look at those scoring pylons, I guess you'd call them, on the track, they actually do match up to what the actual race is going on. They're not just there for decoration. So as we as we come back here, I'll 
very quickly try and see if I can see what it says for laps. I think it should say 11 laps to go. It might say 12, I'm not certain. You can see those guys are racing in front of me. I'm being very careful, breaking a, even a little bit earlier just to give them space to breathe because I'm a little worried they're going nose to tail. Yep, so this is 12 on there. See, the 11 car is in first place, the 13 in second, two, then the 12. I am car number one, if I didn't mention already. And now they're going side by side. I don't have anyone behind me now, so I've, I've got a little bit of leniency as far as giving them space and not giving anything up in return. And again, they're going to go side by side here. That's just going to give me the opportunity. Oh, he made the pass, but the other guy in front of me is going to give an opportunity where he's going to get an opportunity here to catch up in the draft, especially going up into the S's. A, a, a nice opportunity to try and try make this happen. Again, still 11 laps to go. Still 11 laps to go. So no no need to really, to really push things right now and try and make something happen. We've got plenty of time to let these guys potentially screw up. And I, I get the feeling that they're being really racy and that I have the opportunity to do something. But I'm going to get a hell of a draft coming up here. And decide to swing inside. See if I can take them both. Nope. He gets shoved over a little bit. And I kind of think, well, you know what? If he's going to do that, I'm going to back off a little bit so I don't hit anybody. And a little drafty there. But I am going to get the pass on the, the purpley, the, the orange and dark blue car. It's not really purple. It's more of a dark blue. I'll get the pass on him, complete it going through the outer loop, and now I'm into fifth. You can see all the way up front there, that car was just going through that left-hander. That's the leader. So we're within vision of the leader, but not really. That's a huge gap. That's about like a seven or eight second gap at this point. That's probably, unless I'm running like crazy fast laps and he's running really slow laps, I'm probably not going to catch him at this point. So I'm setting P5. Everything's going pretty good. See 10 car now in fourth as it shows up with 10 to go. That's fine. We're looking good. And back up through the S's. This track is just so much fun to drive in these cars. You really feel like you can kind of push them to the limit, especially with a good setup. And I accidentally shift a little too early there which gives the guy in front of me a little bit of space to uh, pull away and I'm kind of watching my mirrors at this point unfortunately the replays don't show the actual the mirrors there on the sides but I can see I can see the guy behind me a little bit uh, made it made it without sliding okay so that was it's good. I'm gonna get a nice run on the inside here. Maybe a little too far inside on the on the uh, apex there. But the guy in front of me is gonna go a little wide, and that will give me a chance to get on the throttle and pull back up to him a little bit more. You know, might not think that it seems like much, but again, every every time you get off, you lose a little bit of momentum on this track. It just kills you because it's such a fast track doing laps in like the 125s, 126s here. There we go, we got nine to go this time by. Again, I'm pulling a little bit closer. I know the guy behind me is still pretty close too. And you can see there, got uh, first, second, third, fourth and fifth all visible we're definitely reeling in these guys ahead of us which is great starting to get a little bit bigger let me get a run on the outside here guys can try and force me off he's gonna go well inside and hello there's that guy from before making the run number 12 i'm gonna back off just because i i think it's gonna be a crash and oh oh there it is right there oh and boy did it like a, like a pro. Like a pro. Like I knew what I was doing the whole time. So those two guys finally take each other out. And now I've got fourth place all to myself. And I am clear of that. So we've got a lapped car coming up here. So you can just see that 
That black car there, that's a uh, car that's a lap down now. And third place is right in front of that. So we've got a little bit of traffic to worry about. Now at this point I realize maybe the black card I saw the whole time was not even a leader, that was actually just a a guy who was like getting lapped. And I realized, oh crap, leader is probably way out ahead. But I've decided that and by the way, if you notice the uh, the windscreen getting all smudgy, I can't actually clean that up in the replay, it just gets all smudgy. I was using tear offs during the race. Sorry about that. At least you can see. Um but we're going to be catching this guy right here. And yeah, they're they're busy fighting about something. There's a guy who's basically being a jerk. So, yeah, you know, that's that's just that's just uh that's just unfortunate with i racing. All the guys in this race were actually really really nice except for this one guy who was kind of a kind of a jerk and uh causing a lot of trouble. But he was like way further back. Still got a nice run there through the outer loop. And I'm kind of catching the third place car, which is great. So is actually the lap down guy. We're both kind of catching him a little bit. So the third place car number two is on the outside there a little bit. So we're coming, I believe, to 7 to go. Yep, 11, 13, 2, 1 is the order. So 13 is in second place, and a 2 is in third place. He's going to go a little bit wide. I'm going to get a nice run here coming up through the S's, trying to pull them in a little bit. I'm pretty sure, nope, I didn't, I didn't shift up on accident here. I just kept going. That's good. I did that during the up, oh, and there's the leader. That's right. He actually spun. He actually got spun by the same jerk guy um, that I was talking about. So leader gets taken out of the race, which moves me up to third. So I'm now in podium position, and I'm hunting down second place. Which, if you'd asked me at the start of the race, hey, you're gonna be in the contention, maybe fighting for second. I don't think I would have believed you. I think maybe a you know top five would have been good. And I was I was content being fourth. I already had one fourth place finish that I screwed up and lost because of uh, fuel issues. So I'm gonna catch up this guy a little bit. And he's gonna be a, a real sport about it. He'll pull over oh, and let me through. So props to uh, props to that guy. I think it was number three. Uh, he pulled over, let me through. He's lapped down. Good guy. Much respect. So now he's out of the way. I've got number two in front of me. It was six laps to go. I'm gonna try and catch him and run him down a little bit here. See if I can do it again. Cut off the gas a little bit. Avoid and off. Still looking at zero X. Perfectly clean race so far. And I don't see the leader anymore. That white car that was the, the second place car, now the leader, I don't see him until there. I can barely see him off in the distance. He's going through the bus stop right now. But, uh, kind of thinking I might not have a shot to catch him. He's about five seconds ahead at this point. And he's running comparable laps to me. So, unfortunately, unless I manage to start pulling, like, you know, one to two second gaps out on him or he screws up, it's probably not going to be a win at this point. Never know, never know. Could run into some lap traffic that could slow him down. He could make a mistake and go off. I doubt it, but you never know with these races. I've had crazy things happen that have gifted me wins in second places and whatnot. But man, nice run here. Went through the last corner, getting up nice and up near that wall. But uh, could have got a little bit, a little bit higher and a little bit more momentum, probably. But I'm within striking distance now. The second place car. Nice little turn in there. He's gonna have run a little bit wide, slow down a little bit, and now I've got a real opportunity going up through the S's here to draft through off of him. 
Now watch, watch this little move. Faint outside and swing inside. Cross them up a little bit. Heading on down the bus stop, I'm on the inside. And pretty much get the pass through. Good to go. And that's probably one of the prettier passes I've made. Nice little cross up. And in fact, I'm gonna stop for a moment here. Because I'm about to get I'm about to get a nice little communication over the radio. Good move, Brian. Good move. There we go. <laughs> so that's the third place guy giving me a little bit of uh, a little bit of nicey nice. And I appreciate it. It's always nice. Mm -hmm. I wanted to race him cleanly. I just got a good pass off. So, you know. It's nice when you do that and someone else is like, you know, good racing recognizes good racing. Hey, there's a tear off. All right. So it does work. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I thought it didn't work. But that's cool. Yeah, I pull off the tear off because it's like, oh goodness, I can't even really see anymore. And we're good. It didn't count as an off. It's just one tire, so generally they won't give you a 1x for that. Going on up through the S's, I think we've got four laps to go at this point. And it's a five second gap, so. Yeah, it's not looking good. It's got to be more than the second gain on this guy. But, a nice, nice run here through the, yep, there's the four laps on the pylon. Second place. And, it's not looking good for, uh, for us catching the guy, but we can at least probably pull a little bit closer. So we are uh, quickly running out of laps here. I'm kind of quietly hoping for for this guy to go off somewhere, not wreck his car. I don't want to. I don't want to wait by wrecking the car. I want to pass this guy and win the race. So I'd like him to start making a mistake somewhere to cost him about you know neighborhood of two to three seconds. So maybe I can put the pressure on him. With three laps to go. This guy is just putting, putting the wheels just right in every corner. And we're running almost, at the, probably I think we're running almost even times. I might be like a tenth or a two faster than him. But obviously a tenth or a two over three laps is only going to be like half a second. That's not going to be enough to close a five second gap. You know, oh, a little late on the shift there. You could hear it hitting the, uh, the rev limiter or just hitting the top of the gear. So again, nice and smooth. The uh, the Skippy group has taught me well as far as how to run this track, what lines to run. I've kind of been watching videos and learning. I've got a good setup now, so anytime you get a good setup, you've uh, you got a good shot, especially if you know how to run the track. Yeah, he's, you can see he's still there. That car is not getting much closer. I'm just kind of hoping beyond hope. And at this point, with two laps to go, I've got to be really pulling gaps, and pulling like record laps to get to get this guy closer or have him screw up. And neither of those things are happening. So unfortunately, next week I'll just mention this right now. Next week's a track I don't own. It's Olden Park. It's a track I've raced before in Project Cars, but not a track I own yet in iRacing. I didn't pick it up. Again, budget for the most part. So there won't be a Skippy's race on this channel next week, unfortunately. Uh, but the last week there is a track. I think it's... I can't remember which track it is, but it's a track I own. So there'll be, there'll be a race for sure from that. But again, hold down P2. Everything is going well so far. Nothing really to complain about. There you go. Going the bus stop. We got two more times to go through here. Everything good. And everyone's chit chatting on the radio. There we go. But uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty low key at this point. Again, you can see the boot off to the 
left there. It's another section of the track. We'll eventually get the race there. I'm pretty sure that one of my series I'll, I'll have on this channel that I run, it's going to run to boot. So we'll get to go through that fun. It's basically most of the track, except longer. Uh, so coming up to the last lap here. Again, we're still about five second gap. Have not had an off this race. A couple times came pretty close, but uh, we're doing good. And there we go. Again, no, no off penalty there. Back up through the S's for a final time. There's the blimp. Fortunately, it looks a lot like the fact that I won't get first place this race unless this guy really screws up somewhere here. He's got too big of a gap. I'm not going to pull back five seconds in a lap without him making a serious mistake. And the bus stop really the last reliable place where that could happen. A little wide. Oh, I'm all right, though. Keep it under control there. I save it. I almost screwed up royally there. I could have spun it very easily if I had, uh, hadn't caught it there. Yep, back onto the... The short shoot, two more corners to go, and nope, it's not going to happen unless he bins it going into the final corner. He's got this one, and yep, I just saw him go through. He's fine. There's no cars sitting at the end here. So we're going to take a second place finish this week at Watkins Glen. No win, unfortunately, but you know what? That's pretty darn good for me coming all the way back from 11th get a little bit of help with some of the crashes sure but there was some real driving this week and it was very enjoyable probably the most fun race i've had in some time if not the most stressful trying to dodge all the wrecks and whatnot but that will be it for today in i racing thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this this little race I know I did. We'll be back soon. Some more Skip Barber uh, racing and probably some other series too. I've got some other races I like to run. Probably some MX5 stuff maybe next week. I know we've got Indy on the schedule next week as well as a possibility. So lots of fun stuff to take a look at. We'll see where it leads us. But until next time, take care. Good driving. Is that, is that going to be my... Outro tag? I don't know. We'll see.